Before I start the video, I'm doing a 20,000 subscriber giveaway where I'll be giving away either a $20 Nintendo eShop gift card or one year of Nintendo Switch Online. To enter, all you need to do is tell me your favorite Reezy video along with your Twitter, Discord, or Instagram account in the comments. This offer will end December 1st. Hello guys, and welcome to another episode of Reese News. And first up we're going to talk about today is the cyber deals for Cyber Monday and everything. So, there is a deal going on on the Nintendo eShop that will be going on until November 30th, which is tomorrow, so you better act fast. It's going to stop around 11.59pm tomorrow. And there's a lot of things that they have on sale that are a pretty good price. Like for $40, you can get Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity, Super Mario Odyssey, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, Astral Chain, and um, Dragon Quest XI, a lot of other games. And New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, that's a game that I'm seeing on sale a lot during this. And it's just weird that there's still like $40, like $35, that's definitely not worth it for this game. I feel like it should be $20 max, because that's how much the Nintendo Selects version with New Super Luigi U was on the Wii U. This is like a 10 year old game, 10 years old next year, and it's still being sold for like $40 when it's on sale and it's by default $60. And it's just crazy. I, I don't know why they just haven't discounted this game. I know Nintendo usually doesn't permanently discount games, but... It's just really weird with New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. And overall, pretty good sale. Like, games like Super Mario Odyssey are definitely worth it for 40 And there's also a few other weird deals, like Among Us, for a dollar off. I don't even know why they included this, but it, hey, it's a popular game. I just, I guess they're just including it to be a part of the sale so it gets more attention and everything. But it, a little weird. It's only like 20% off for a $5 game, but... Hey, if you if you want to play Among Us, it's one dollar off. But next up, we have with like the next news topic here, we have the Game Awards is going to have a world premiere that the devs have been working on for 2.5 years, and a lot of people are looking at Breath of the Wild 2. And I kind of have I'm kind of skeptical about this, even though I do think they're probably going to show one of Nintendo's games for next year anyway, like, I do think that there's a possibility we could see Breath of the Wild 2 there, I mean, it's been rumored, I don't completely believe those rumors, but I do think it's definitely possible that we could see Breath of the Wild 2 appear there and have a trailer, maybe even a title reveal, and maybe a, maybe a release window, like, let's say it comes out in fall 2022, so we could see that, and... Yeah, I really don't think this world premiere is really referring to Breath of the Wild 2. It, it could, but world premieres are usually reserved for completely new games. It might be a Nintendo game, it might be a Nintendo game, but I'm thinking it's probably going to be something completely different. I don't think it's going to be Breath of the Wild 2, it's just... I just think it would be a little weird if they called a world premiere with a game that's already announced. I know they haven't announced the title and too much information on the game, but I still don't think that would really count as a world premiere, so I do think it's probably referring to something different. Like, there's a lot of possibilities for what this could be. It could be something completely non-Nintendo related, which is probably what it's gonna be, but who knows? It could be Breath of the Wild 2. But the final news topic we have here is a really weird accessory for the Nintendo Switch that recently was kind of shown off recently. I think, I'm not sure if it's on sale yet, I don't think it is, but I think it was like fully revealed recently or it met a goal on Indiegogo recently. And basically what this is, is like a screen for your Nintendo Switch. And this really doesn't make any sense because the screen on the Nintendo Switch, especially if you have an OLED, is fine. And this screen, it, like, even though it is 1080p, it's just a little better, and it's on a really big, clunky screen. 
And the whole point of the Nintendo Switch being portable, or the point of a portable console in general, is to be small and compact to take with you. And this is really big and clunky, and you really need like a case for this, because it's almost like the size of a laptop. And or like a big iPad or something like that. Actually, with all the stuff on the back, it's, yeah, it's probably pretty big and it probably requires like a backpack or something to carry around. And it, it just looks really clunky. It kind of reminds me of those Game Boy accessories, those crazy Game Boy accessories they had in the 90s. But this almost looks even worse than those. Like, this, I mean, I'm not saying it's bad, it's just completely unnecessary. Like, you really don't need this. Like, the Switch itself, and especially the Switch OLED, already has a pretty good screen. I don't really see the use for it. If you want to play the Nintendo Switch on a bigger screen, just play it on the TV. You don't have to have a bigger screen on the go. I don't know why people would want this. Like, I, I don't really see the point at all. Like, when, when the Switch itself is supposed to be small and compact, and you really don't need a big screen to play portable games. It's like... The, the screen itself on the Nintendo Switch is already bigger than a smartphone, or at least most smartphones. So, I don't really think you'd need a screen any bigger than that. Like, I think it's fine how it is. Like, and the screen size was really not something that people really complained about for the Nintendo Switch. That's why I kind of felt the OLED was weird, because it just... I mean, the bezels are smaller, that's good. But, like, people really wanted a resolution upgrade. Like, but this just kind of, even though it's in a resolution upgrade, it's still pretty clunky, and it doesn't really look very good. So anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more, and make sure to check out my Discord server and Twitter if you want to. Goodbye.